You know, very often I get messages from people telling me how sorry they feel about the animals, how bad they feel about animal cruelty all over the world, and how sad it is that we treat animals the way we treat them. That would be good, except for the fact that most of the times, or at least a lot of the times, I've gotten this kind of message just before they say something like, but I can't stop eating meat, or but I can't give up cheese, or something like, but it's never going to change, so we might as well just accept it. And really, I want to talk about something today. You know guys, animals don't need our pity. Animals don't need us to just feel bad about things and injustice being carried around in the world. Animals need us to just step out of that circle and take them seriously. Of course, this means going vegan. And the problem with just feeling bad about animals, you know, and just feeling powerless is that it doesn't really change anything. And being vegan does. And you know, the thing is that most people tell me, you know, I feel very bad, but I just can't stop eating meat. And anyway, what, what good is it going to make? Because people around me are never going to stop. And you know, it troubles me that people say this. Because I mean, we're talking about injustice. And if you are recognizing that the animals are suffering, just like we do, because I mean, we're animals too. Um, we feel, we think, you know, we have a desire for our lives, just the same as them. Um, so if you can recognize that they are suffering, why not do something about it? You know, if you realize that there is this great atrocity going on in our name, why not do something to change it? And I mean, I feel like if I witness injustice and it's in my power to stop it, and I don't, then I'm just as guilty as the people who commit it, you know? And we're talking about the death of animals, the use of animals, the abuse of animals. And so, the important thing here is that you have to know that it does matter. Nothing is going to change until we change, you know. And really, if we don't become vegan just because no one else is going to go vegan, first of all, that's a lie. And second of all, it's kind of a mediocre mindset. Because you have to do things not because other people will or will not do them, but because you know what's right in your heart and in your mind. And so, I was talking to this person the other day, and she was telling me how you can still do a lot for animals, even if you eat meat. And she was talking about people working in her local shelter, helping dogs and cats and finding them homes and, you know, uh, helping them with their medical expenses and stuff, and how great they were. And she even said that, you know, veganism wasn't such a big deal, but because these people were doing more than people who are vegan and just sit at home. But I beg to defer. You know why? Because really, I mean, if we put this in a human situation, it's not going to make much sense. Let me put you an example. Let's say I own slaves, human slaves, at home, you know, in my house. And I keep them because I want servants for free. And I'm going to abuse them, I'm not going to let them have their freedom, I'm going to decide over their lives, I'm going to sell their children, and at the end of the day, I'm going to kill them so I can eat them. Now. Is that right or wrong? Of course it's wrong, it's horrible. But you know, what if I have a day job? You know, I would work every day helping human beings. You know, I work with homeless people and I work with handicapped people and with sick children in the hospital. I don't know, any, any kind of thing. Now, is it good that I do these things? Of course it is, you know, it's fantastic. But does that justify what I do at home with the other group of people? You know, of humans? I don't think it does. I mean, why would it? How can I do something so good, you know, for people in my day-to-day -day life at work and at the same time in my home be a slave owner? You know, it, it, does it make sense to you? <laughs> because it doesn't make sense to me. And so how can we justify feeling like some types, you know, of animals do have rights and other ones just don't, you know, because that's the way the world works. I mean, seriously? Uh, so anyway, when I told her this thing, she really freaked out on me and she was pretty angry and aggressive, but um, I sensed she was really confused and she didn't appreciate that I pointed out her inconsistency. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is that this person is an ovulacto-vegetarian, so... Uh, 
she works also at the shelter, so she has some kind of compassion in her heart. My point is, we shouldn't pick and choose, you know, we should give it to all. And like I said, this is a challenge because we live in a society that everything, almost everything, just works around animals being killed. And so stepping aside from it is a challenge. But can it be done? Of course it can. Should it be done? Yes, it should. But who is going to do it? We are going to do it. We are the ones who have the power to do it or to stop it from happening, you know, by being conformist. So what I'm trying to say is that if you have compassion for animals, you have to you need to act upon it and give your yourself the opportunity to just be fair. And you know, this includes insects too and it's, you know, a whole new world, but um the thing is that things you, there are things that you just can't help, but there are things that are in your control. And things like the things you eat, you know, the things you wear, the places you go, those are completely in your control. And you can make a choice that doesn't involve killing animals or using animals as things, you know. And this is what veganism is about. It's not about being who is the, who is the better or worse person. That's not the thing. The thing is taking animal rights seriously. And as I said, Animals do not need your pity. They need you to take them seriously. And if you're worried about animals, if you care about animal rights, you need to go vegan. And trust me, it's not as difficult as it sounds. I was overwhelmed at the beginning by the meaning of, you know, being vegan. But I've done it, and little by little, I've been changing in things that I um, before thought, and I have changed my mind, and have changed my habits, you know and my life altogether, and I can tell you I'm very happy about the changes that I've made, and I feel better. You know why? Because maybe we can't prevent injustice from happening all over the world at the same time, but we can prevent being involved in it, and that's what's important, you know? Maybe other people are not going to stop using animals, but you can, and that's what's important. So, I leave you with that thought, and just please, guys, um, don't make excuses for things that you know you can do. And talk to me about it if you have any questions, if you have um, any doubts, anything you want to tell me, just leave me a comment or send me an email, I don't know. Um, but remember, we all are part of this and we can stop it. Thank you.